St. Juan Diego. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate a Aztec Indian, St. Juan Diego, who in the year, uh, it was December 9th, 1531, it was him on his tilma that he had a Marian apparition, collected roses, and that becomes Our Lady of Guadalupe. He was canonized in the year 2002. So imagine this, this little Indian waiting nearly 500 years to be counted among the saints, although after a church was built, he uh, lived right near that, that church and led by word and example. So today we celebrate St. Juan Diego, who was the man who had the Marian apparition on that hill right around Mexico City. And Our Lady of Guadalupe uh, is the image appearing on his tilma. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who by the means of Saint Juan Diego showed the love of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to your, for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, bless, oh, bless the, Lord, the Lord, my soul. soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. Oh, oh bless, bless you, oh, bless Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requit us according to our crimes. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's Gospel is a Gospel that we pray almost all the time when there's the anointing of the sick. In the rite of anointing the sick, there's, there's three different Gospels you can choose, but this is the first one. So I would say throughout the world it's the most popular reading that comes with anointing of the sick. But I believe that on December 9th, as we're midway through this uh, Advent season, getting two candles done, but the 9th brings us ever more closer to Christmas. You know, all of us can feel weary and, and, and burdened right now. I wonder sometime this year why I'm so busy, and I think all of us can say it, because we're busy doing things, and some of it is mindless things. When you hear the news of the pandemic and you get updates on it, it can actually be um, just too much information sometimes. But when you hear it all the time, it can wear you down. The holidays can wear you down. That's why we have these seasonal type of things that people feel. The slush outside can wear you down. So on December 9th today, our Lord knows this. And so the gospel that he gives us is really very clear to all of us. Come to me. All you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Meaning that through the busyness of Christmas, the busyness of Advent, the busyness of December, the busyness of just the news and what's going on in the news and following the storylines, the business of just living in the world, we can get so down and out right now this time. And what Jesus says is, come to me, take your solace with me. Let me refresh you. Let me refresh you in this Eucharist. Let me help you out to carry the crosses that you bear. Help me help you get better, get stronger, and persevere. When we look at St. Juan Diego, when he arrived at the bishop's office initially, asking that a church be placed where the Marian apparition took place, the bishop just sort of laughed it off because he is what would be called indigenous people. And um, he goes back to the hill in a roundabout way. Mary puts roses in his tilma, ties up his cloak to make sure it stays nice and secure. He goes back to the bishop's office, and it's a time in which these roses would never, ever be blooming in this area of Mexico in, the, in, in winter. And when the, the tilmas opened up, the proof positive was there. And then he waits nearly 500 years to even be canonized after doing this. So you can get tired. You can feel left behind. You can feel that everybody else is more important. But Jesus makes sure that we know through this gospel today that all of us are important. And actually, when the Pope canonized Juan Diego, he referred to him to represent, you know, the, 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 the moving people and the migrant people of the world. That God comes to us all, not to the rich, not to the haughty, but to the lowly to raise up. So today as we begin the day, on a slushy day, a, a dark day, a dark day outside, may we hear the message of Christ to come to me whenever you're labored, whenever you feel burdened, you don't have to feel sick. Whenever you are burdened, come to me and I will give you rest. I think right now at this time in the Advent calendar, we need that rest. May we take that rest with a loving Lord. Please rise now for the, in, for the intercessions. O 
With one voice, let us offer our prayers to the Lord, who is gracious and merciful. For all members of the church, for the faithful, for you and I, as we do our work, may the grace of God continue to nourish and strengthen us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and in our hearts, that this Advent season may be one of the, the light shining in the darkness and helping us take that rest as we journey on through this month. We pray to the Lord. For all who struggle to provide food, shelter, education, or health care for their families, we pray for all those that are, that are bruised, those that are affected by the coronavirus, the first um, aid responders. We also pray for our parasyclists, all those in need of our prayers. We pray to the Lord. For those among us who suffer from physical ailments, may Jesus assure them of his presence and redeeming love in the midst of their trials, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, today we remember in a special way Alma Germain. May she and all the faithful departed be led by the Lord Jesus into the place of eternal rest and joy, we pray to the Lord. And for those prayers that we voice now in the silence of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we renew our strength in you, and in your words we place these needs before you. And we ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all, his holy church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Saint Juan Diego, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last may manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O of the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
O Zion of the highest. Today we'll pray the Advent Prayer Reconciliation number two, which begins on page 24. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us when we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins. You brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also, together with your Son, and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and all the bishops and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son. So also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. In our own indirect way, let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
our prayer of spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrament we've received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed St. Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's Wednesday, so after Mass today, we'll be praying the glorious mysteries of the Rosary. If you'd like to join in with that devotion. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.